Okay. This is video log 12 times 21.32. Do I have to do this now? Like, I really need to get some rack. Sam Worthington is a popular Australian actor who managed to radically change his life from a simple labor worker to a movie star. At the same time, he doesn't fit the image of a Hollywood celebrity and hardly manages the fame that has fallen on him. We will tell you about all this in this video. Sam Worthington how the main avatar of Hollywood lives and how much he earns. Samuel Henry John Worthington was born on August 2, 1976, in a small but developed town with a rich history, Gottingham, in the southeast of England. His father, Ronald, worked at the power plant, and his mother, Jeanne, ran the household and raised the children. Sam and his older sister, Lucinda. A few years after the birth of their son, the family moved to Australia, to the Perth suburb of Rockingham. Down under, the boy went to John Curtin College of the Arts, where he regularly participated in school theatre productions. He played both in classical productions and modern interpretations of fairy tales. Such zeal, however, wasn't the result of a love of art, as Sam admitted it was just easier to get to know girls in theatre class. In college, the future actor didn't demonstrate a great desire for knowledge. It got to the point that, at 17, he dropped out of school before graduating. His parents weren't happy about this at all and didn't want to tolerate a freeloader in the house, so Worthington Sr. bought his son a one-way ticket across the country to the city of Cairns. Along with the ticket, Sam received $400 and was advised to earn money on his own to find his way home. The young man had no choice but to work wherever he had to. Finally, he managed to get a permanent job as a bricklayer in a construction crew that traveled around the country and built houses. Together with his colleagues, Worthington ended up in Sydney where he met a girl who dreamed of an acting career. Following in her footsteps, Sam applied to the main theater school of Australia, the National Institute of Dramatic Art. His girlfriend didn't pass the exams, but the young man was accepted. Just like in college, Worthington wasn't very diligent in getting an education. He often skipped classes, preferring to have fun with friends. And nevertheless, he graduated from the Institute in 1998 and immediately got a role in the production of The Kiss of Judas by the Belvoir Saint Theatre. In 2000, the young actor received several cameo roles in the TV series Jag, Water Rats, and Blue Heelers. He also played one of the brothers' dancers in the melodrama Bootman. You won't work for me. Stay out of my fucking business, all right? Yep. Got it? Mm-hmm. Good. But I don't work for you no more, you ass wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Sam then starred in the war drama with Bruce Willis and Colin Farrell, Hearts War, which was released in 2002. A little later, the premiere of the Australian crime comedy Dirty Deeds took place. For his work, Sam received a nomination for the prestigious Australian Film Critics Awards. Soon, the actor added several other movies to his filmography, like the crime comedy Getting Square, a musical film about fans of ACDC Thunderstruck, as well as the drama Somersault. The latter is a story about a 16-year-old girl who ran away from home and a rich farmer Joe, played by Sam. It set a record at the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Awards ceremony, winning all the prizes for feature films. Worthington also received the award for Best Male Lead. Despite the recognition of experts, the film earned half as much money invested in its production at the box office. Après le lycée, je suis allé en Europe. Et en France, j'ai eu une intoxication alimentaire. T'avais mangé quoi Saloperie de lapin. Ouais. Je toucherai plus à ça, c'est de la bouffe de paysan. <laughs> Pourquoi t'es revenu in 2004, Worthington began acting in the Australian TV series Love My Way, appearing in 10 episodes in total. At the same time, he decided to try himself as a screenwriter, director, cameraman, and even composer, releasing a short film, Enzo. It was a dramatic sketch of the life of an African guy who dreams of becoming a soccer star. 
At the same time, the actor was dating Australian actress Maeve Dermody. Their relationship lasted until 2007. Later came roles in the American-Australian military drama The Great Raid, the TV series The Surgeon and Two Twisted, and the action movie Fink, with Sam in the main role. The film, however, didn't meet expectations and received negative reviews from both critics and viewers. The free adaptation of Shakespeare's play Macbeth in the fantasy style of 2006 was received better, although mainly the work of cameraman and production and costume designers was noticeable. Soon, the horror movie Rogue was released, on the set of which Sam Worthington performed all the stunts himself. The problem arose with only one scene where his character falls into the water. There were reports of a 16-foot crocodile nearby, and the actor flat out refused to get into the water. After a few hours of attempting to persuade him, director Greg McLean jumped into the water and swam to shore to show Worthington that there was no danger. Later, it turned out that the film crew wasn't at risk, since the reptile had been found a few weeks before and transported to another area. We are still in its territory, and it doesn't like it. Plus, it's probably already tagged us, Katie. So. What, what? Tagged us? They tag you as a food supply. They don't stop. It's like a, a vicious dog just guarding a piece of meat in its backyard. Jesus. At the same time, the actor, with the help of his agent, tried to take steps towards continuing his career in Hollywood and almost succeeded in this. He reached the final stage of auditioning for the role of James Bond in the film Casino Royale, but lost to Daniel Craig. Sam said that before the screen test, the project producer Barbara Broccoli came to this hotel to try and change his image. It was decided to cut his hair to fit the character more. As Worthington added, the decision to refuse him the role was absolutely right, since he didn't feel comfortable in the image of a courtly 007 agent. But when one door closes, another opens. In the summer of 2006, an audition for the large-scale project Avatar by screenwriter and director James Cameron started. By that time, Worthington was already tired of people recognizing him in every bar in Sydney, wherever he went. Therefore, the actor happily went to Los Angeles, where no one knew him having previously sold his belongings for 2000 In the City of Angels, he found a car and made room for sleeping in it, deciding not to spend money on a hotel room. When he got a call with an invitation to the Avatar audition, they didn't tell him anything about the film or the director, so Sam thought it was another waste of time. He didn't really expect an answer either, because he lived in a car and with almost no connections. The producers of Avatar had to call the actor for several days to announce that he successfully passed the audition for the male lead. However, for another six months, the film creators of the picture had to convince the studio bosses to go for it and take an actor unknown in America in such an expensive and large-scale film. When they finally agreed, the filming began. Since his character was paralyzed, Worthington's real legs were hidden in a wheelchair and removed during post-production, and Jake's atrophy legs were prosthetics made from the legs of a real paralytic. Sam was also an American, and upon arrival on Pandora, he speaks the Navi language. The actor admitted that the American accent was much harder than the fictional language. This work was a turning point in Worthington's life and brought him worldwide fame. At the same time, he didn't set big plans for himself when agreeing to the role. When James Cameron offered him a paycheck of 80000 Sam thought, Now, at least I have money for a return ticket to Australia. However, the percentage from the box office allowed him to earn about $4.8 million. In addition, he received the Saturn Award as Best Actor for his work. Looks like him. <laughs> Looks like you. This is your avatar now, Jake. The world premiere of Avatar took place in December 2009, and a few months earlier, the fantastic action movie Terminator Salvation was released. Sam Worthington got the role in it thanks to Cameron's recommendation and, according to critics, surpassed even his famous partner Christian Bale, who played the role of rebel leader Connor. You know what I did. My brother and two cops are dead because of me. I'm not looking for a second chance. Although the Terminator franchise is strongly associated with Arnold Schwarzenegger, in this film, Sam didn't get a chance to work with his idol. It happened only a few years later. 
In the same 2009, Sam received the title of GQ Man of the Year in Australia, beating recognized stars such as Eric Bana and Russell Crowe. At the same time, popularity didn't sweep Sam off his feet. Moreover, he tried every possible way to avoid the superstar cliché and considers himself the same Australian hooligan. He even allowed the journalist to slap him if he became too conceited. The actor doesn't see the point in expensive clothes and may appear in public in the worn shoes that he's had for a good dozen years. Sam doesn't need the last iPhone either because he doesn't like being bothered by calls. But his agent has to deal with a lot of calls with offers from film producers. In the following years, Worthington starred in the melodramas Last Night and Love and Distrust, the thrillers The Debt and The Fields, as well as the action-adventure movie Clash of the Titans. Moreover, Sam got a job in the latter thanks to the pressure of the film's producers, even though director Louis Leterrier was against him being in the movie. The creators expected to cash in following the success of Avatar and even hastily remade the film in 3D after the filming ended. Clash of the Titans was indeed a success among the audience, having justified its budget four times. But the film industry professionals were divided. On one hand, the film was nominated for the Saturn Award as the best fantasy film, and on the other, for the Golden Raspberry Anti Award for the worst use of 3D and the worst remake, sequel, or parody. Perseus Argos needs a ruler. I cannot be a king. Sophie better is a man. Two years later, a sequel to the story Wrath of the Titans was released, and this time, the main character's hairstyle received criticism. As Sam had a short haircut in The Clash of the Titans, and long curly hair was chosen for him here. At that time, his girlfriend, stylist Natalie Mark, was next to him to withstand the test of fame. They were often followed by paparazzi, and eventually the relationship reached an impasse, followed by a breakup in 2011. At the beginning of 2012, the premiere of crime thriller Man on a Ledge took place. For this role, Sam had to overcome his fear of heights. Part of the filming took place about 200 feet high on the roof of a New York hotel. Hey, bartender, change the channel, yeah? I'm sick of this jackass. Afraid not. That's my favorite channel. <laughs> on the red carpet, Worthington presented his partner Crystal Humphreys to the public. They met at a bar Sam frequented, and Crystal worked as a bartender. As the media wrote, the girl didn't even know that the cute regular visitor who invited her on a date was a celebrity until a friend told her. The relationship, however, didn't last long, and in the same year the couple broke up. In 2013, the Hollywood actor briefly dated Australian singer and actress Sophie Monk, and later began a relationship with model Lara Bingle. They met at one of the concerts in New York when Worthington and Bingle's mutual friend, singer Natalie Imbruglia, introduced the young people to each other. Sam fell in love at first sight, and he especially liked that Laura was a very simple and unassuming person. They were seen walking around Paris absolutely happy, and Sam said in an interview that he had met a new love and was grateful to heaven for every moment with this woman. This was the end of the actors' revelations, and even about their wedding, the public found out very late. The celebration took place in Melbourne on December 28, 2014, and was very modest. Only 10 people made up of close relatives and friends were present. The bride was six months pregnant, and in March 2015, the couple had a son, Rocket. We must say, being world famous has put a lot of pressure on our hero. During that period, he began to resort to alcohol more and more, which made him irritable, and he often snapped at the paparazzi. On February 23, 2014, he was even arrested for assaulting one of them. The actor claimed that a reporter named Shang Li kicked his wife Lara in the shin. The actor was prohibited from approaching the victim and later Li filed a civil lawsuit for $3.7 million, which was settled out of court. Lara's ultimatum helped Sam to avoid any alcohol addiction. Moreover, their family has expanded even more. In 2016, they had a second son, Racer. Meanwhile, Worthington's career was still on the rise. He finally worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger in the action movie Sabotage, starred in the sports drama Drift, the western The Keeping Room, the crime thriller Kidnapping Freddy Heineken, the dramas Paper Planes and Cake, the adventure thriller Everest, and the military miniseries Deadline Gallipoli. In the fall of 2016, Mel Gibson's war drama Hacksaw Ridge, based on real events, was released. According to viewers, the movie became the best war film since Saving Private Ryan, 
and critics awarded it two Oscars, the Screen Actors Guild Award, BAFTA, and Sputnik. All I saw was a skinny kid. I didn't know who you were. You've done more than any other man could have done in the service of his country. Now I've never been more wrong about someone in my life. Then, Sam Worthington appeared in the film's Hunter's Prayer, The Shack, The Titan, the TV series Manhunt Unabomber, and the psychological thriller Fractured. It was released on the Netflix service in October 2019, and at the end of the month, took first place in user recommendations and viewing lists. In 2020, Sam and Lara had their third baby, River. A year later, viewers saw the actor in the Australian miniseries Fire, the American Western fantasy The Last Son, and the biographical crime thriller Lansky. In 2022, the films The Georgetown Project, Nine Bullets, and the miniseries Under the Banner of Heavens were released, but the premiere of the year for Worthington was the release of the long-awaited continuation of Avatar, The Way of Water. Sam signed a contract to participate in two sequels back in 2009, and this time his payout was $10 million. In addition, he will receive 5% of the profits that Avatar 2 will bring, which means his income will grow significantly. Now there are five more films with Worthington's participation at the post-production stage, including the third Avatar, which is expected to be released in 2024, and the filming process for the fourth and fifth parts of the successful franchise is also underway. In addition, several films with the actor's participation are planned to be released in the future. The military thriller Thunder Run, the thriller Alive Alone, and the fantastic film Hello Stranger. In addition to acting, Sam is fond of surfing and, in his youth, loved to play Australian football with friends, but he can't stand training at the gym. Once, either jokingly or seriously, our hero admitted that if his career ends, he will return to what he started with, brickwork. And there is always the opportunity to become a participant in the show Dancing with the Stars. Sam Worthington's net worth is estimated at $30 million. They were mostly obtained through work in the cinema, but he was also the face of the computer game Call of Duty. In the game, the actor voiced Captain Alex Mason, but gamers criticized him for not being able to hide his Australian accent. In 2018, Sam and his wife spent almost $8 million on a mansion in Los Angeles. The house has an area of 6,100 square feet, five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a stylish living room with a marble fireplace, an equally magnificent kitchen with modern appliances, a media room, a wooden sauna, and a wine cellar. The interior combines modern luxury with Scandinavian minimalist style. Outside, there is a swimming pool, a recreation area, and a guest house. The mansion was put up for sale in February 2020 for $9.25 million, but the price had to be lowered. Finally, in May 2021, Sam and Lara sold it for $8.2 million. Now the Worthington family has returned to sunny Sydney and another of their favorite places in Hawaii. Sam is not a big fan of cars and uses them only when necessary, so his black Range Rover SUV is great for his large family. Do you like Sam Worthington as an actor, and what films with his participation have you watched? Well, I guess I better go. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.